My name is Matt Ginn. I'm the executive chef of the Prentice Hospitality Group, which includes Evo Kitchen and Bar and Evo X, which is a food trailer at Four Points Marina. The restaurants are located in Portland, Maine, where I'm from, born and bred, and I don't anticipate leaving anytime soon. At Evo, we're a Maine restaurant. We focus on Maine ingredients and making them in a way that pulls from Eastern Mediterranean traditions and some ingredients from the region. But when you think about pulling Mediterranean food and Maine food, they actually go hand in hand. And we try to write menus around that. We try to write dishes around that. At Evo, it's a heavy vegetable-driven menu. I like to eat vegetables. I like to cook vegetables. But that goes to being able to implement some of my ethos and the way I see food, the way I see sustainability, the way I think about food at home. So what is good food? Good food is starting with the source and the ingredient. Doesn't matter how good of a cook you are, you cannot improve the innate quality of your ingredients. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be pretentious about food at all, but things are best when they're at their peak, and that's a fact. There's something about adding love to the food, too. It sounds a little corny and a little bit like bullshit, but there's like truly like enjoying the process. You can't be good at anything if you're not excited about it. That's putting love into food, sharing that excitement with people. And you can taste the difference. I'm proud of the food we did from day one, but Evo has just gotten better. Every year we've gotten better, the team's gotten better, the food's gotten better. I won a local award called the Maine Lobster Chef for the Year, and then one of my sous chefs won it a couple years later. We have a long pedigree of lobster cooking here at Evo. Year two, we're sitting here, and the chop casting crew approaches us about me being on the show. It provided some confidence, of course. Like, it's good to go on a show and win, because those judges are fantastic chefs, well-accomplished chefs, and they give you some honest feedback. You work hard to gain respect to your peers. That's an important piece of it. I love to have the general public and people come out of town to come eat at Evo, but I love having chefs from Portland come in and eat and enjoy Evo, and that's the goal. At the end of the day, it's to make people happy and to cook food that we're proud of. COVID touched down in March. And so I pulled the staff together in April and I said to them, COVID is not gonna break us. We will find a way. We will cater to people that wanna to come together as safely and as responsibly as they can, but we are gonna figure this out. My heart goes out to restaurants that closed and won't make it. There have been closures in this city, there have been closures in every city in the United States and throughout the world, and there'll be more. So I'm very proud that we created opportunity out of nothing. We truly did this in three weeks. We went down to Pennsylvania, we bought a custom food truck, we implemented the menu, we are open for business, and we learned how to tighten it up. There'd be nights where we had a line around the corner waiting to let people in. We had two people in the front just managing crowd control and making sure people were spread. Really, we had a line at the door numbers and temperatures taken and gloves handed out. It was busy. Hi guys, how you doing? I'm well, thanks. What can I get for you guys? At the food truck, we cook a chickpea fry, which is a chickpea panisse. We serve our yellowfin tuna dish that's very popular. And then we serve a more approachable fare, local beef on an ice cheeseburger. We have a fried fish dish, but kind of the food that you want when you're sitting on the water having a cold beer. More casual, but no less delicious. Cold lobster roll. Lots of fresh herbs, a little bit of lemon. You gotta have a little lettuce when it's cold. That's what's up. I wouldn't have thought in January of 2020 that we'd be running a food truck, but Evo X, the food truck saved the company. It saved the staff. I have a team of 12 cooks. Nobody got laid off, nobody missed hours. In fact, everyone had a lot of hours this summer. My staff is doing more of the food than ever before, and honestly, the food is better now than it ever has been. You have to be hypercritical to be good at this. You know, you have to look at it like, can we make this better? So as I get older, it's the collaboration with my sous chefs more than anything. I think that's what makes you better. It's dialogue with the staff, this collaboration with my sous chefs and my line cooks. Like, do you like this? What do you think? What do you think? We spitball. We might put a dish together, put it on the menu that night, tweak it three or four times, and then on Saturday, it's changed quite a bit, but now we're happy with it. Now we're pleased. So we change the menu all the time. We might have one or two dishes that stay on the menu year-round at Evo, but we are constantly reinventing, 
and Evo has just gotten better. Every year we've gotten better, the team's gotten better, the food's gotten better, the caliber has gotten better. Evo X in the trailer is only growing and is gonna come back next year bigger and better. We have one year left in the current Evo and we'll be moving to a new location and there'll be more reinvention that goes with it. I have high expectations for the new Evo and I want it to be nothing short than the best restaurant in Maine. Maybe the best restaurant Maine's ever had. So Evo is a place that I just want people to come and enjoy themselves and know that they're getting honest food that's very thoughtful and where the people putting it together are giving it their all as well.